While I'm waiting for these manure spreader parts to dry, I've got another job that I need to get done today. Even though we're getting late in the year and falls right around the corner, we do still have a couple months left of grazing. So now is not the time of year to start ignoring the pasture and just sort of let it go. What's been happening is I'm getting to the point in the year where the less desirable weeds that are growing out there are starting to really outcompete the desirable grass because obviously the cows aren't eating them. And what happens is these taller weeds can get in the cow's eyes while they have their heads down grazing and that can eventually lead to pink eye, which we don't want. So today I'm gonna unhook the aerator off of the tractor and hook the mower up and run over there and chop some of these nasty weeds down. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. The bad thing about all of this is that I actually still have some aerating that I need to do, but it would actually be a lot better to mow the pastures first and then aerate afterwards. So as much as I hate unhooking and hooking up equipment unnecessarily, I, I guess in this case it is kind of necessary. I always have to remember to slide that ball hitch out of the way because if I don't, when I drop the mower down, the PTO shaft will land right on top of it. That's how that happened. Now that we're out here in the field, I think it really demonstrates what I was talking about before. The cows moved out of here this morning, so we know that whatever was eaten down low is the stuff that they liked, and whatever was left behind is stuff that they don't. If you look down here at the ground, this Dallas grass is picked really low, and this is what they're going after. It's what they like. This other stuff, I'm not sure what it is called, but they do not care for this at all. And this is, as you look out over the field and see that sort of brown color, this is what you're seeing. Before I talked a little bit about why it was important to chop the weeds because it would get those weeds down and out of the cow's face while she has her head down eating. But there's a second reason that we do this. I'm not really sure the science behind it, but there's something that happens when you cut that weed off and let it dry out and essentially make hay out of it, that it loses a bitter flavor or the bad smell or whatever it is that the cows don't like about it. Because once you chop these weeds off and let them sit out here in the field for a few days, the cows actually will come back and eat them. All of these undesirable plants out here have gone to seed, which makes me think that they're 
sort of at the end of their life cycle. And I know it's the worst time to come through and mow them because I'm just gonna spread those seeds out. But my hope is that once we cut them off, that the Dallas grass has a chance to sort of outcompete the undesirable weeds. And the next time the cows get out here, this pasture should be looking pretty nice. This is the way that we've always sort of dealt with weed pressure out here in the pasture. But one thing that I would like to try is using a weed wiper to make an herbicide application out here. If you don't know what a weed wiper is, it is basically a large drum that rotates as you drive and you're applying herbicide to the drum itself so that when the weeds rub on that drum, it applies the herbicide. But the nice thing about it is that it specifically targets anything that is taller than the grass that's already out here. So if I was doing a weed wiper application right now, this would be perfect because the grass that they like is only a couple inches off the ground and the stuff that they don't like is a foot or more. So it'd be really easy to get a good application and only target the weeds that I'm going after. But for now, mowing is just gonna have to be good enough. finished out here and I have to say this pasture looks really nice now I'm, I'm happy with the way it turned out tonight I'll come out here and I'll start the water and in about two weeks or so when the cows come back out here there should be plenty of growth to sustain them for a couple of days while I got the mower hooked up and still have a little bit of diesel left there's a few more little jobs that I want to do month ago I came down here with a shovel and chopped a bunch of the berry vines that had grown up around this pump. Sort of piled them up here where I cut them down with with the intention to come back with the loader tractor and put them in the burn pile or um, come back with the mower at some point and grind them up and get rid of them that way. 
So they've been sitting out here for about a month, been kind of bugging me because every time I come down here, I kind of tiptoe around them. So it feels good to get that job done. It's just one of those sort of nagging jobs that hangs over your head, but it's not really important enough to make a point to do it. But today, since I had the mower hooked up, it was a good time to get it done. That is gonna do it for all my mower work today. So I guess this is a good place to sign off. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. And I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Mm -hmm.